Over now to this hour's Realities of Racism segment. And tonight it's all about the love story, but the authentic love story featuring real characters that audiences can actually relate to rather than those typical stereotypes. The Last Summer of Nathan Lee is a queer indie filmmaker Quentin Lee's latest project. It is a boombox serenade, if you will, set in the 1980s, but without the misrepresentation, and Quentin joins me now. Quentin, it's great to see you, and congratulations on this latest film. Nice to see you again, Angie. Thank you so much. Tell, yeah. Tell me about The Last Summer of Nathan Lee. Well, Last Summer of Nathan Lee is actually a contemporary uh, a, a comedy feature mm. about a teenager named Nathan Lee who uh, finds out he has brain cancer and has one year to live, and he basically just wants to live life as the fullest and mm. doesn't want to die a virgin. And so it's 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 not as dark as it sounds. It's really very comedic and it's really fun. And it's about him just really trying to live life, you know, at his fullest within, you know, this this very limited time that yeah. he he has. The film is very, very authentic. And by authentic, I mean really looking at, um, you know, what characters at that age would be experiencing what they're feeling, but authentic also within their own culture and traditions, very different from perhaps, you know, you'd see in films like Sixteen Candles, where Asian characters were very, very stereotypical, and, and there was a lot of jokes made, that, made about those stereotypes. So talk to me about the importance and significance of the authenticity here. Absolutely, because I grew up as a Generation X, and, and actually that was my teenage years when uh, Sixteen Candles was released and right. Long Duck Dog became this character, this stereotype that very traumatized a lot of um, Asian API men growing up in that generation. So for me, becoming a filmmaker myself, is, I think that now also having a child who's 17 and so, so seven years old and, and becoming a teenager eventually, yeah. I really want to create some, some more stories that he can actually look up to. And, and really enjoy kind of situation. So so that's why last time in the Nathan Lee happens. As a filmmaker, even before that, you've been working to break those barriers, to um, uh, break the stereotypes and, and have everyone look at the real definition of, of, of who we are as, as, as people of color. Um, what's that journey been like for you? I think that it's been very fun, but also very challenging mm -hmm. because it's always hard to, you know, raise money to make films that are very authentic in a way that, you know, entertainment executives don't want you to tell the story. It's not that they don't want you to tell the story, it's just that, well, they, they think that what is entertainment is very different from the stories that you want to tell. So, so obviously from Comedy Invasion to now Last of Nathan Lee, it's, it's, I've been doing this for, for like th three decades since uh, 1997 when I premiered Shopping for Fangs, my first feature at right. TIFF. Mm -hmm. And I'm still doing the same thing after all these years. But I think that uh, for me, the satisfaction is that being able to tell the story is much, it's, is successful. Mm -hmm. It's much more mm -hmm. sweeter than, you know, making a fifty million dollar, you know, Hollywood action movie that mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. speak to me. You know, so so I'm just following my heart. Oh, I'm glad you brought up shopping for fangs. By the way, that one was a great one too, and we had fun talking about that. Um, but but you've all, it's not just the film. You're also doing a bunch of other stuff. Your last project, Res Comedy, the first Indigenous stand up comedy series. Um, talk to me about that because then again, it's bringing in still I under sort of that you know, label of authenticity, bringing that to the stage, but allowing the real people to sort of showcase their art. Absolutely. So Rest Comedy was a, a TV series that was greenlit into development by APTN and also uh, um, Canada Media Fund. And unfortunately, they pulled the plug on production. So mm -hmm. now we're struggling to put everything back together. Okay. And it's going to be the first uh, Indigenous stand-up comedy TV series, uh, Canadian content. Mm -hmm. So... Um, mm -hmm. We definitely need all the help that we could get. And, and right now we, we're applying to a couple of grants, so hopefully we get that and still get to make this series. And um, But it's it's the first of its first, and I think it's really important. And I think that, and I'm partnering with uh, mm -hmm. Keith Nahaney, who is an Indigenous comic, to show run this show. So I think that uh, hopefully we get to make this one. I'm looking forward to having you back on the show then to talk about it. So I'm already, I'm already anticipating it's going to be a big hit. Before I let you go, though, um, where do you see things going when it comes, you know, in film, in the industry, when it comes to sort of that true uh, cultural diverse representation? I see things. I'm very optimistic. I'm very excited. I just see things are getting better and better mm. because you know, even back in the 90s, you would not even imagine pitching a story or a 
a film with a, an, an API or by part character at right. the main, you know, at the main character. But now it's actually possible, you know, with all these, you know, movies and TV series coming out and also the push to, towards diversity. I think that it's just going to get better. I think it is as well. And I'm looking forward to having you uh, on as often as we can because you're such a joy. Congratulations on this. I know the film is having like a week long run in Toronto, I believe starting the 13th of October. So people can look forward to that. The film is The Last Summer of Nathan Lee. I'm speaking with Quentin Lee, um, incredible filmmaker. Quentin, thank you so much for this. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.